Now, when working in Notes view, you're going to find that this is probably the most powerful way of working with MIDI inside Pro Tools. We're going to be focusing mostly on the Pencil tool, where it acts more like a smart tool, where its context changes based on where you move your mouse. So the simplest way you can go into your Notes view is by using your Pencil tool and simply click on the region. Now notice that it switches automatically for you, where you could have done the same thing by going into your track view. Now there are some fundamental differences between these views. In regions view, you see all your notes. All vertical notes are displayed. But if you go into notes view, they could be spread out. So you may have to change your vertical heights for your notes view. So in other words, if I had it cranked up really high here, and I switch it to regions view, you can see everything gets pushed into view. So a little bit different views as far as vertical heights go for your notes view. Now taking your pencil tool and simply just clicking in an area to create a note is very simple. You can also double click on it to erase it. Very, very cool. Now based on what your velocity is right here determines what your note is going to be written in at. So if I want it at a 93, it writes it at that point and determining what the duration is going to be also is set right here. So I can make this be a quarter note. And I can click here, and a full quarter note is written in. Now what else needs to be brought up at this point is that if you are drawing notes in, or if you are playing notes, and you just simply want to click on them to play them, and you want to hear them, then you have to have this particular icon turned on. So it simply is playing MIDI notes when you're editing. So sometimes it's not necessary and you just simply need to highlight data, but if you are wanting to listen to what you are highlighting or you're editing, keep this icon turned on. So let's go ahead and erase these right now. So let's zoom in a little bit here. And I want to show you something really cool with your mouse. Just by using the pencil tool, I can draw notes in but I can also go right on top of it to grab it and move it around. I can also go to the far left edges here and I can trim it. Now, notice that I cannot trim very easily. So if I hold down the command key, this is clutching it and works in slip mode. So I could have done the same thing by just switching into slip mode and simply trimming it as usual. Same for the other end, I can trim it as usual. So I could select multiple notes and trim them all at once. Very, very cool. Now this is where it gets very interesting. You hold down certain modifiers in order to switch between your different types of tools within your pencil tool. So for example, if I hold down the option key, this allows me to make selections. And this works just like your normal selector tool in regions view. But when you hold down the control key, it turns into a crosshair. And this allows you to select individual notes or groups of notes by creating a selected area. So I can even add additional ones if I want to. So I can say I want to add here and then hold the shift key and add these. So this allows you to add more to that individual note selection. So maybe I want to copy them now. If I click on it, it's going to play all of them. And then I hold down the option key to make a copy of them. See, if I try to do this by option clicking on it, first, you end up erasing the note. And the one more thing I want to add to this list is by holding down the command key right on the note, this allows you to change the velocity. And notice that as my velocity is pulled down, the notes get lighter and lighter in color. And if I pull them up, they get darker in color. So there's a unique little aspect here of being able to trim with my pencil tool right on the note to trim it down or trim it up in velocity. So I want to review these again. You can create a note by just simply click and drag. You can double click to erase it as well as option click to erase it. You can also trim the notes by trimming the ends. You can make a selection by holding down the option key, it acts just like the normal selector tool. And then you can use the control key to do what's called a crosshair or a lasso to select individual notes. Now the one thing I want to mention that's different about the crosshair versus the normal selection, 
is that if I delete this information right now in shuffle mode, notice that it does not remove time. This is because I did not select anything in my timeline. Now if I highlight this with my selected time using the option command and I use the delete key in shuffle mode, I am removing time. So those are very important differences. Again, uh, control, highlights, and it does not remove time, whereas option does highlight time. And when I delete it, it is dealing with time. What I want to point out here that the most important thing about this particular video lesson, and you may need to watch this video several times to really get a grasp at how this works, but get very, very comfortable at using your pencil tool to change between all the different behaviors both the selector tool, going into the lasso or the crosshair they call it, going into the trim tool, going into the grabber, knowing how to erase notes. I want you to get very comfortable to treating your notes view with your pencil tool as if it's a smart tool allowing you to do all your major functions and edits. Now one other function that I want to talk about is that when you use your tab tool, this allows you to tab between your region boundaries. But if you are tabbing within notes view, you're actually using region boundaries with the tab transient off. With the tab to transient turned on, you're tabbing to individual notes. And this can be very cool. Now you will only hear the notes as you're tabbing if you have this particular icon turned on. Now let's talk about more aspects of the pencil tool. Let's say I want to use the pencil line tool. And I switch this to grid mode. And then I set my grid at sixteenths. And then I also want to set my velocities at around 85. And then I want to set my durations to be around 16 as well. And watch what happens. I can now draw in a whole series of hi-hats. So I can now go in and make these notes all a little bit shorter. So let's say I want to go into slip mode and I trim these down a little bit. Or let's go in and make an example where I'm going to set my grid to be at quarter notes, but I want my durations to be at sixteenths. So you can see now I can draw in notes based on these duration values that are exactly one sixteenth in length, but they're only happening on the quarter beat. So take advantage of using the pencil line tool for drawing in a series of notes for kicks, snares, maybe even certain bass hits or rhythmic phrases that you're trying to do. I may even use a technique which is pretty uncommon that is dealing with removing notes from a list. So I may take a selection of notes that are hi-hats and then highlight a couple here and a couple there and then hit the delete key so you can create your own unique little rhythm that may be something completely different than what you would have played in the first hand. I call this subtractive sequencing. This is just an idea for you guys to get as far as working with the pencil line tool to draw a series of notes. Have fun.